The United Nations has delivered a word of caution about global warming, saying an irreversible climate catastrophe is looming. A new report from the World Meteorological Organization says weather-related disasters on the planet have increased five-fold over the last 50 years, and they are killing 115 people a day on average. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says it's only going to get worse. Pointing the finger at fossil fuels, he cited the floods in Pakistan, heat waves in Europe, and droughts in several countries. Well, joining us now to discuss this report is Ms. Lisa Gu, Manager of National Policy at the David Suzuki Foundation. Ms. Gu, welcome back to Forum Daily. Thank you. Nice to be here again. So can you give our viewers a brief overview of the major findings in this report? This new report is a compilation of the most recent science on climate change impacts and responses from multiple UN agencies, compiled from the perspective of the UN specialized weather agency, so a unique perspective. Um, and in terms of its major findings, I'm afraid it's not good news. Um, the report was released under the headline, We Are Headed in the Wrong Direction. The report finds that emission levels continue to rise and fossil fuel emissions are now back to pre, well, in fact, above pre-pandemic levels after a temporary drop during lockdowns um, in 2020 and 2021, and that governments simply aren't doing enough to cut emissions. The report finds that we're dangerously close, in fact, to approaching climate tipping points as global temperatures continue to rise. 1.5 degrees Celsius of global warming is the point at which climate impacts will become increasingly harmful for people and, and the planet. And this report finds that there's now almost a 50-50 chance that that key threshold will be crossed at least one year in the next five years in terms of average temperatures. Billions of people around the, uh, around the planet are expected to be, uh, to be exposed to intense climate change impacts. Very concerning information indeed, Ms. Gu. Now, uh, this report says weather-related disasters have increased five-fold worldwide over the past 50 years. So uh, what has the trend been in Canada in terms of that time period? Canadian science confirms that it's virtually certain that Canada's climate has also warmed and that it will warm further in the future. Um, and both the observed and projected average temperature crease increases in Canada appear to be actually above the global average. So climate, the climate is warming in Canada um, faster than those global averages, as concerning as that is. Now, uh, Mr. Guterres points to fossil fuels as the primary source of these climate disasters. Um, and he's saying that, uh, that countries that are trying to replace Russian oil, gas, and coal with their own energy are also adding to this issue. So what are some realistic alternatives uh, for such inflation-hit countries amid this ongoing war? Yeah, it's the question of our time, isn't it? I mean, climate change is already reason enough to decarbonize our energy systems. Um, and, and the David Suzuki Foundation conducted an analysis uh, with academic partners showing that power in Canada on 100% clean energy is achievable by 2035. But now we're also seeing anew that fossil fuel systems are vulnerable to geopolitical instabilities like the situation facing Europe right now. Um, of course, the transition isn't going to happen overnight, but I think current global events really underscore the urgency to decarbonize our energy systems and moving towards energy independence by transitioning off of fossil fuels and towards renewables not only provides more energy security, but it can also be less costly for people in those countries. And of course, we have to consider um, the price of doing, the cost of doing nothing. We simply can't afford to not take these actions in light of the findings of this recent report. Now, what really uh, stood out to me, the term that stood out to me in this report was climate catastrophe. So what would a climate catastrophe look like in Canada? Well, I mean, in recent years, climate fires and extreme heat events have brought this threat into focus right at our doorstep. And even while we work to reduce emissions to prevent the worst effects of climate change, we also need to embrace adaptation strategies that will help make our communities more resilient. Um, some of the f effects of climate change are, more, are also more insidious, um, but still could be catastrophic. Um, just one, one uh, 
example that I think many people will be familiar with of an increased disease threat is the increasing spread of Lyme disease as temperatures warm and ticks establish themselves farther north. Um, so we can, we can expect to see increased climate effects at multiple levels right here in Canada and around the globe. All right, Ms. Q, thank you again, and we'll be right back after a short break.